The 2024 Republican presidential field got a little smaller over the weekend. So after much prayer and deliberation, I have decided to suspend my campaign for president effective today. Eight candidates now remain in the primary race after former Vice President Mike Pence dropped out Saturday. Pence hasn't endorsed anyone yet. His former boss, Donald Trump, is still the clear frontrunner. And in the key state of Iowa, in the key poll from the Des Moines Register, it has Trump polling at 43% among likely voters there. His closest competitor is at 16%. CBS News Chief Washington Correspondent Major Garrett joins me now. Major, good to be with you. Mike Pence is out of the race. What happened? There's going to be a theme to our conversation tonight, John. It's about loyalty. And Mike Pence, I talked to a couple of his advisors today, said he thought there was a question that only he could answer in the Republican nomination contest. What's more important, loyalty to former President Trump or the Constitution? Pence was sure, and his advisors were confident, that Republican voters would say the Constitution, because that's more important, more enduring than one person, even if a person is as formidable as former President Trump. They now know that was 100 percent wrong, that while Republican voters may care notionally about the Constitution, right now, in poll after poll after poll, they care more about former President Trump, and their enthusiasm for him and their loyalty to him and his movement outshines any other consideration. Also, Pence and his advisors thought that appeals to Reagan Republicanism and Reagan conservatism, as he defined it, would also win the day. But they've discovered, as many other Republicans have, that part of the Republican coalition, though not gone, is far, far smaller than it's ever been since well before Ronald Reagan took over the Republican Party in the late 1970s and early 1980s. So picking up on that theory about loyalty, uh, Major, Former Vice President Pence, who stood against efforts mm -hmm. to block the 2020 election, he is now uh, out of the race. The new speaker led those efforts. So what do you conclude or what can one conclude from that, if anything? That denialism about the 2020 election can be a qualifier, can be an accelerant, can allow you to catapult to higher office. Mike Johnson is a classic example of that. And if you stood strongly against election denialism, and if you stood in the breach, as former Vice President Mike Pence did, you may be regarded well in history books, but not in the moment. And that loyalty to Trump, again, that theme is more important, even if wrong, even if anti-constitutional, than doing something that is forthrightly in accordance with the Constitution or plain facts on the ground, which is the 2020 election wasn't stolen and Trump lost fair and square. Finally, Major, the GOP field is shrinking a little bit, but there's still eight candidates. There has been a long time effort by the non-Trump group to shrink the field. Is that happening? And even if it did happen, would it matter? It's only happening at the margins. One of the reasons that former Vice President Pence is no longer in the race is he could not raise money anymore and he didn't want to go into debt. And you look at Iowa and you mentioned the Des Moines Register poll. Former President Trump is formidably in the lead there, not only with a 27-point lead, but his enthusiasm gap is much higher, meaning his caucus goers are determined. They're locked in on him at about 61 percent, say that they are going to do that and no, nothing will shake them. And their enthusiasm to do that is higher than anyone else in that race, DeSantis or Nikki Haley or anyone else by a factor of two or maybe three to one. So Trump is the odds-on favorite. In Iowa, inevitable, many Republicans I talked to said today. And yet there's this other track of inevitability, John, and we'll probably discuss this in future shows. The inevitability of the reckoning that Trump is facing in civil and criminal proceedings will not go away. It just hasn't bit politically, at least not yet. Major Garrett from Washington. Thanks as always, Major.